you're upstairs now. I am. Not in the ED. What made you want to come back to, to Holby City at least? Uh, I think I missed Lofty really, yeah. He's a big part of my life for two years on Casualty and I had a year and a half off, went off and did a musical and flew a car and did my album music stuff and then um, Oliver, uh, Oliver Kent, obviously the exec on the show, got in touch and we discussed the potential about coming back into Holby and I think also I have a daughter, Betsy, who's now six, seven, and I get so much more of a lifestyle because it's like one hour from home and we film at Elstree, obviously, and I'm not down in Cardiff during the week. And that was hard for two years, just being back at weekend. So um, and it all seemed to fit together. Yeah. And there was a trial period for the character to see if Lofty could fit in and mix well with the other characters in the show. And touch wood, it's, it's been going great. Yeah. So do we see what, what brings him back and do we see a change in him at all? We do. Um, it's quite an impact when he, his first scene coming in, I'm not sure if, if I should give it away, but I, I come in with quite an impact and helping a patient, which is quite fun, really fun to shoot. That was, that was great. Um, and for the first time we touch on Lofty's past and go a bit in depth into how he first came into nursing and, and um, on a personal level as well. Some some things that he's been going through whilst travelling because he he went he I obviously left casualty to to go travelling for a year and a half around New Zealand and retraining mental health so and that was after quite a the exit, traumatic was, exit yeah, yeah exactly. with Di Diane who because Lofty got to run the ED for the day and stepped up to the plate and was doing a great job until one of the nurses died on his watch and as the, the viewers would know that watch the show. He, he hadn't lost his job, but he couldn't live with that responsibility. So decided just to, he was too embarrassed to, to confront his colleagues and decided to go traveling for a year or however long and retrain. And um, but now he's back, yeah. So you say he makes quite an impact when he arrives. Some might think he's maybe a bit tentative about sort of negotiating the nursing waters again. Yeah, he was initially. Um, but what's nice, and I think important for any character in a big show, is that they develop and um, don't just sh show one side to their personality, because as people, we all have different traits to us. And what's been really nice is that there's a new strength within Lofty now, I think, having been through what he's been through and then gone away travelling and cleared his head and worked out what he wants from life. It's almost like a choice to come back on his terms which gives him this real inner strength, yeah. But he's still quite clumsy. <laughs> he's still knocking things over occasionally and um, that, I don't think that's going to leave him much, yeah. He's very um, very forward and quite forthcoming lofty and I, th I think he uh, often doesn't do things the correct way. He, he does them his way, which is often not conventional. So <laughs> it's, uh, I think that could, that's rubbed on up the wrong way slightly, I think, initially. But... Um, he does warm to Lofty eventually, and I think it slowly understands the kind of person he is. I feel so lucky. I'm, uh, I'm really happy. Yeah, I feel really content at the moment. I'm, I'm getting home every night, which makes a massive difference. So, um, and just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great team of people, from the crew to the producers and, and the guys on set, and just, just really happy, yeah. And I've, I've had some nice stuff to play, great, great storylines. Hopefully more, more good, good stories going forward. But um, I was a little nervous, actually, because having been off not playing the character for a year and a half, almost two years, to come back and find those traits again. And, but after, after two, three days filming, I was like, right, there's Lofty. <laughs> In terms of your music and, and theatre work and what have you, I mean, is, is that very much on the back burner for now? Is it something you'd like to go back to? I'm still going, yeah. I'm doing a little uh, residency in Chelsea the last Sunday of each month. I've got my band and I've got a fifth album that I'm going to be touring next year. It's a t like a 10-year anniversary tour, yeah, so I'm doing like a theatre tour next year. At weekends, probably the last weekend of each month in between filming Holby, yeah, so I'm still singing, which is, which is great, yeah. You singing on the corridors here? I do, yeah, I, 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 I'm singing on set again because I did that on Casualty for quite a while, but um, I don't know how it's gone down, but <laughs> it's good fun. <laughs>